Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's Sunday, May 3rd, 2020, and we had a heck of a day on Friday. So did Elon. Uh, thanks for the trade, Elon Musk, with your crazy tweet. And I'm going to hand this over to Miss Vegas and see what kind of opinion she has about it. Miss Vegas. Oh my God, guys. I got to tell you, if you love options, you will love this trade. And this is why we always say small accounts can bank. Um, great example, Trade Exchange, fabulous new service. I'm going to do a special video on them very, very soon. You're going to love this company. Trade Exchange, they gave us the alert on Tesla tweet about Elon Musk saying the price is too high. And as soon as we got that alert, we thought, oh my God, the stock's going to go down. And you can see that... Um, we alerted the trade in the room. We said, let's grab some puts. We grabbed 700s and 730s. And here's a screenshot of one of our traders, Trader Doe. You know, right away, she listened to, on voice. We talk live in our room on voice. I called out the trade. She grabbed the 730 puts. Same day expiry, by the way. So this is a day trade. Grabbed it. Paid $1.86. Look at the time she grabbed it, 11.12 a.m., which is less than a minute from the alert from Trade Exchange. She grabbed that put and look within five minutes, sold it for $9.90. I got to tell you, those went to $1,500 each. The people in the room were just screaming because we're like, oh, my God, it's going crazy. The stock's ripping. But, you know, it was obviously the shorts were attacking the stock and it was obviously ripping on the downside and it was just tearing down and all because of Elon Musk's tweet. First, people thought, you know, I think initially before the um, stock tumbled, it, it seemed like people thought he was joking. You know, is this a joke? Because, you know, he likes to say things on social media. People weren't really sure if this is serious. And then they're like, they thought his uh, Twitter was hacked. And that was kind of the commentary out there. And then it turns out, no, 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 this is him. He's tweeting. So you can see the latest news article. Jim can show you guys the news um, that his bizarre tweets wiped $13 billion off Tesla's share price. You know, he was mentioning that he's going to not have a house. He's going to sell all his physical possessions and, um, by the way, you know, he's expecting a baby. His his girlfriend's due tomorrow to have a baby. So, you know, he must be excited about that. Um, but I got to say, his tweets sent the market on a wild chase. And um, the Wall Street Journal tried to contact his office and uh, they wanted to know, are you joking? And do you know that he responded to the Wall Street Journal's message and said, no, I'm not joking. So he, it's not the first time we know that he has sent provocative tweets. If you guys remember, in August 2018, he said, I've secured funding to take Tesla private funding secured 420. And then remember, he was fined by the Securities Commission. He settled to pay $20 million. And um, he also had said that he was going to have a Tesla lawyer pre-screen his tweets <laughs> with when he makes comments about the company so very controversial comments you know he's been you know he's been describing the coronavirus lockdown as forcibly imprisoning people in their homes i'm quoting exactly what he said and he finds it fascist um you know he says uh that the stay-at-home order is a serious risk to the business and he wasn't sure if the tesla could resume production in california so he said that, you know, people can't leave their house. They'll be arrested. This is fascist. He said, this is not democratic. This is not freedom. Give people back their goddamn freedom. You know what? We can understand and appreciate it because I got to tell you, we're all on lockdown here as well. And everyone's getting so bored and fed up as, you know, concerning as it is to have to want to stay home because of, you know, concerns about social distancing and things like that. People are really, really getting antsy and tons of protests. I saw in the news today all across the country, people protesting. I mean, they want to go to the park. 
They want to go, they want to be able to at least go on a patio of a restaurant and be outside, you know, with social distancing regulations. They want to go back to work. And even if they have to wear a mask when they go to work, they want to go back to work. Like people are fed up. So kind of understand where Elon Musk is coming from. So Jim, let's hear your thoughts on this because a lot of people took advantage of the pullback, made a killing of money. And then a lot of people thought, wow, this is a bargain now. I'm going to buy some calls longer term. So, you know, what are your thoughts on this? Because you have seen this stock for a long time. And uh, you have some thoughts too on what's happening here with Tesla. So let's hear what you got to say. I've always said that America has a short attention span and this will all pass. He's done this before. And we all know he's a little loony, kind of reminds me a little bit of John McAfee in a way. He's one of them uh, rebel CEOs out there. And I think it'll all just kind of lay out and ride out and the stock will be back up again. But it did give a little bit of ammunition for the bears. And I've been saying, if anybody knows how I trade this stock, I've been calling it a bull bear trade of the year, along with um, uh, Roku and a couple others. So they're they're definitely we're definitely i'm still definitely very bullish on the trade i took the barrett call on it friday and made a couple hundred dollars on it on the pullback if i'd had a little bit more gumption i'd have held on to it and made a little bit more for sure but yeah so i think this will all be short-lived and it'll be back up running up again and it's probably probably just shorter than what we think because we know how this guy reacts and we know how he is just give a little bit of ammunition for the bears to get excited and you know I'm sitting here watching it, heard Trade Exchange call it out in the room. Vegas, the room, and I were just right on it, man. We were looking for puts because we know how the stock trades. And the last time he opened his mouth up like this, said that he was going to take it to 420, maybe take it private, he got fined by the uh, SEC. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets another reprimand from the F- SEC again. But uh, it's going to be short-lived, and the stock's still going to keep climbing. It's not going to bank. It's not going to corrupt the stock at all. And once America is starting to open up, Missouri's opening up here today, so we're going to go back to work. Some of us are, but there's going to be restrictions, and I think that whole process is going to happen through the country. So I'm starting to get a little bearish on the cocooning plays, and more bullish on the economy plays, and that's just something to keep eye on. So let's look at the chart right now. We'll pull up the yearly. It's had a beautiful run from 176. Vegas and I called this out back when this was down here at 180. We said it's time to ride this trade to get in it and play it. And if anybody's been following us, they know that I've, we've said that many a times. And then once it had them great earnings, it had that big bounce. And I was very pleased to hear that they finally started taking profit. And then it just ran and did nothing but ran and hit a double, hit a resistance high just under 1,000 at 968. And then we had the corona cocooning where everything got affected and it just pulled back real strong. We did have a little support layer area right here at this spot right here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. And that's right where we pulled back to. That was that previous high that we had right there. So, and then we have another little support right down here. I don't see it getting back down to 450 on this news at all. But I am going to try to find a little spot, and I'm thinking right around the 672. I hate to see it go any lower than that, or maybe fill this gap right in here where we had that gap up at 650. And I've seen a couple other people talk about that 650 area. So that's going to be my channel of support. You want to watch this in trend. And let me uh, change this. I'm going to put a little force field up here so I know that this is going to be my solid support. And that's going to be no lower than 651 to 672.52. That's going to be your low support channel. Your first one's going to be right in here where this real red candle is, that base of that candle, and that's going to be right at 686.94. I need to change this. Let me get back here. And it could change. It always does. 686.12. That's where we're going to stick her at. And then we're going to pull up the 20 day. Let me look at it one more time here, see if there's anything that I can see. Magnify this up just a little bit. There's another spot right here. See where it closed right here at 702.99? You see why? We had them support levels 
right in here where it consolidated. So we're going to say at 704.20 is going to be like a little good spot for for a support level or a resistance to break. Then we can bring it back up into the 729. So let's pull up the 20 day. It's going to take a week. It's already bounced back a little bit off that pullback. But I think it's going to take about a, probably this coming week for it to settle down. The bears are going to be overly excited about it. They're going to want to try to go ahead and place some puts on it. But I'm still going to be bullish. I'll just follow the bear chase. Once it gets down here to this channel, I'll go ahead and break it back up. And we'll, I want to keep this channel going right in here. That channel between 686 up here to right about 778 resistance. So if we hit the 780 area this week, call that a hard resistance for now. If it pulls back to this lower support of 651, call it a strong buy. And that's going to be Tesla. And I'm still very bullish on it, but I follow the bears with it too. You know, one of these days I'm going to come out with a book on how to, uh, how to, how to handle the bears and how they think. So it's Tesla, Miss Vegas, anything else you'd like to say? You know what? I just want to say a few last pointers on Tesla for those of you that are just watching the stock, but you know, they did mention, you know, back before all this drama came, but you know, a couple of couple days ago before the drama that, you know, Tesla, uh also um they had raised their china prices after subsidies were cut and they also mentioned that uh they their model h suv is uh the, has the best batteries in the business and that they've completed a massive expansion of the world's biggest battery and they also said that tesla china registration have has risen to a record 11,280 for the month of March. They are getting tons and tons of Cybertruck orders um, after they unveiled the electric truck. So I gotta tell you, this company's, the sales are just phenomenal. So keep it on watch for sure. All right, also on the website here, we have a little Twitter bird right there. If you hit that little link, it'll bring you to Twitter and you can hit that follow button. We're posting Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here on a daily basis, as you can see, little stories and stuff. And we also have on the website where our stock Twick links are, our Pinterest, our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, ring that bell, and hit, I mean, uh, and hit that like button. We also have a little store if you ever interested in any merchandise you can always buy some of our merchandise in here but today's date is may 3rd 2020 and this is our review on tesla and we wish everybody a great week next week i love stocks